The customary land registry office was commissioned at Kijomoro sub county headquarters to support other sub counties in Maracha district. Eunice Nabakwa, the principal land officer at the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Urban Development, says landowners have managed to secure customary land titles through development initiative for Northern Uganda in Maracha district. So the government patterned, uh, of course, the funding came from EU. So UNCDF had a specific pro program called DINU, that is the D Development Initiative for Northern Uganda, which had various components and land was one of the components. That funding came and then the ministry together with the local government did implement the activities and these are the results. So the certificates that we have, we have right now are 176 certificates so all the owners but these are we have so many beneficiaries because this is customary land and customary land is owned by families so when we go out to register we ensure that each and every family member is put on the certificate UNDCF head of country office Dimitri Posidev says land is an important factor of production that needs legal protection as basic freedom in development process. We have talked today at the Commission an event about the importance of land in three respects. One is uh, as the security issue. The second important uh, aspect is uh, land uh, as the factor of production. It allows people to increase agricultural production in a safe way. Uh, this is uh, a broader transparency issue because it allows people to know where exactly their land is, it creates more confidence in government. Uh, this is um, kind of a pilot project. Uh, it has started in a few uh, sub-counties, in, in a few districts. According to one of the beneficiaries, it had not been easier for him to acquire a customary land title until this project came into play. This has been a very, very great achievement in my life since 1962 when Uganda got independence, which means the government is trying her best to work left and right for the benefit of the people of the country. State Minister for Lands in Church of Urban Development, Obiga Mario Kanya, as the customary land owners to be careful while using their land titles as collateral to secure bank loans. If you read the constitution, it clearly states a number of titles. Uh, we're securing people's land. We're also resolving a problem of conflicts. You don't put your land title in a bank or to, lend, to get money in order to eat the money. That's why I emphasize the issue of sensitization of the public, which our communities and our local governments at the district and sub county levels should be doing. That is not just a question of financial institution coming and saying, we are ready to give you money. There are cases where people must go for loans. That is necessary also. It's not necessarily bad, but it must be for productive purpose. Some of the Maracha district leaders say acquisition of customary land titles by the locals is a vital tool in overcoming land conflicts in communities. The representative of the European Union says the EU is willing to support the government to solve the issues of land conflict. The Ministry of Local Government says land matters negatively affect development. Land ownership is a source of conflict, so when we manage to uh, look into it and uh, title, it is uh, helping to reduce the number of land conflicts. So I'm happy to see the results today. We will continue to discuss with um, the government and our partners uh, to see how we can uh, build on this success. This land issue has been a sticky matter within our development agenda. The word from Minister of Local Government to you is that kindly use this land profitably to enhance your household income. And this will be in line with what we are advocating for under Parish Development Model. The project target is to have at least 175,000 families benefit from this project in the next two years. Joseph Fodamo, UBC News.